And there we go. So now, as we try to leave, don't talk to this guy, just try to leave. And he sets you up with uh, setting your party up. So one thing I haven't talked about is whenever, whenever I select party members, the fastest thing to do is to select a blank spot over here and then go right over to the party member that you want and then select that party member over here and bring them over here to where you want them instead of going back and forth both times, you know? So Tifa and Sid is our, is our party now. Uh, when you exit the screen here, there's no buffer required because it just puts you into a cutscene in the high wind. But this one's very short. They just tell you to go to the underwater reactor. And then it's time to talk to the pilot and get flying up to Junon, which is directly northwest. So that means get going. Square up left. All the way from Medil to Junon. And it's time for one of the best, another one of the best menus in the game. So land in front of Junon, and here we go. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the ribbon on Cloud, the fire ring on Sid, the curse ring on Tifa. Because it's the order of Cloud, Sid, Tifa, I use L1s because of the ordering that I have the party. Uh, but the thing is that the curse ring is currently on Sid. So that's why we have to do Sid first, you know, uh, is because he has the curse ring on. Then pop over to Sid. We no longer need the HP plus elemental on Sid. And we no longer need all restore on Sid. I'm going to put that on Cloud instead. So we just remove his whole bottom row. And then uh, one of his enemy skills, or one of his HP pluses, we do want enemy skill on him now. So we're going to give him that instead. One of the big ones. We're no longer going to use the small enemy skill that only has magic breath on it. Then, uh, so what that leaves him with is enemy skill on the top row, HP plus MP Turbo Comet, which was already there. Uh, then we swap over to Cloud, arrange our materia, and give him HP plus HP plus cover on the Force Stealer. And then go down and give him enemy skill, and then a linked all restore. And then Tifa is going to get three HP pluses, counterattack long range, death blow added cut, steal for dexterity, and uh, an elemental so that it levels up. The Power Soul is one of those uh, uh, items in the game that also has double MP growth. Or double AP growth, I'm sorry. So, um, so we put, I, I put elemental on the power soul here so that it levels up for later, uh, because we're going to want it to be level two. So, um, so the reason for all this is that Sid, we want to have access to big guard, magic breath, um, and, uh, and then the HP plus and MP turbo comet is left over. You know, we want him to have more HP. We want him to have MP turbo comet for, uh, diamond weapon. And then, but that's later. Cloud, we want him to have some more HP. Uh, and also, this is on the Force Stealer, so it's getting double uh, M AP growth as well. Cover, so that he prevents uh, Tifa from dying when she's running around with in critical health. Enemy skill, uh, so that he has access to Big Guard and uh, Magic Breath. And then all restore, so he can cure the party. Tifa needs a lot of HP, because she's going to be running around in critical health. And so we want her 25% health to be as high as possible, you know? Uh, counterattack long range is so that she might get some free hits in. Some people think that counterattack is only a time loss. I actually like it in this area, and I'll, it might come up why. Um, and then long range so that she can do full damage on her regular attacks from the back row, because the back row takes 50% damage from physical attacks. Death blow with added cut because she's gonna be. That's how we do our. This is our main source of damage in the game is death blow added cut from Tifa. Steel is to raise her dexterity. Elemental is just to give it some AP. All right. So that is now our whole menu. We make sure everybody's tranked. We use our last tent and then we go in. Whew. So that is accessories. Equip cloud with the ribbon. L1 to Sid, Fire Ring, L1 to Tifa, Curse Ring. And um, the Fury Ring, you shouldn't have to worry about. It should be below the Fire Ring and the Curse Ring. Because remember, we arranged our Materia, and then we sold a bunch of stuff that's it, that's above the Curse Ring. So now whenever we uh, re-equip, it puts it above the, cur the Fury Ring in our order. So there's those three. Materia, down to Sid. Remove the bottom row, swap this to enemy skill. It should be the enemy skill that's right available right here. Pop over to cloud, arrange, 
uh, HP plus, HP plus, cover. Um, I leave this one empty. Just go down left once. Uh, give him the enemy skill. All restore. Over to Tifa. HP plus, HP plus, HP plus. Then I come right down to the bottom left for the counterattack long range right here. And then I pick this one to get up to death blow right here. Right two for steel. Left one up to um, one past elemental to get to added cut. And then you go up here and one down to elemental. So you can do this however you want. You can arrange the materia however you want. I've, you know, I, I've told you as well as I can why each one is important. But your particular arrangement of them or just your particular style, you might want to do it slightly differently. Uh, but that is how I do this menu. Um, and so let's do it a little bit faster this time. So menu. Equip. Ribbon. Firing. Curse ring. Over here, boom, 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 boom. HP plus, HP plus, cover. Enemy skill, all, restore. HP plus, HP plus, HP plus. Long range counterattack, death blow, steal. Added cut, elemental. Tranks, tens. And then we should already be in ATB weight, right? From from the last things that we've done. But if you're not already in ATB weight, it's time to put it in ATB weight. All right. And we are now off to the underwater reactor. So we enter Junon, run straight back to this guy, give him the 10 Jill to get into the elevator. And we are going back to Junon. Uh, back to upper Junon, that is, so that we can go to the reactor. All right. So I buffer right. This screen isn't live, and then this is another one of those just sequence of memorized, like, how, how are they laid out. First it's left, for this screen, of course. Switch to down left for the next screen. Into down, or maybe you don't even have to. Uh, into just down on this screen. So you'll get a cutscene here, as you're going down. So just remember that you were running down. It's just the one text box, and then continue buffering just down. The next screen is a left buffer. And then last time we did left on the next screen, but this time it's down left because we want to... Right now, this screen is not live, but after this cutscene, it will be. And we want to get on the door that's... We're going to get into a door that's over here, so it's important to shove Cloud all the way over to this wall uh, before we start going down because that way it's the shortest distance remaining to the door. So after that, just buffer down. Now the screen is live. And into the door. So first thing we're going to get is just a little cutscene that goes into a fight. And we're going to get a few fights with guards here. So you've got a few options on the fights with the guards. There are, this, is where, this is where a lot of preference and a lot of options come in. Um, so we've got two guards to fight here. Um... A magic breath from either Cloud or Sid will take out both guards. Uh, a regular attack from Tifa, even without, even without being critical, will take out the guards as well. And Tifa has death blow connected to added cut. And so the very fastest way to get through a fight would be if Tifa lands a death blow on one soldier and then she added cuts the other soldier. Um, that's kind of... That's kind of what I do, is I go for the death blows, and the death blow is her first option under attack. So with ATB like this, uh, it is best, for me, I would choose to just hold down and circle to queue up her death blow as quickly as possible, try to take these guys out before they get a turn. Now, if she misses the death blow, the fastest thing, as she's pretty fast at this point with the curse ring and just being Tifa, um... And so the the best thing to do if she misses the death blow and only kills one of the guards is then to just get her next turn, do a regular attack to finish him off. Um, otherwise, let's say you were going for a magic breath. Let's like let's do this a couple different times. So what I would do is just buff her down in circle. She missed. And so I would do like a weight tricking thing here where I defended with Cloud and then held time with Sid. And now I would do the weight trick, uh, holding up in circle to, to change to just regular attack. And then she gets her second attack before the guard gets another attack. 
Um, so once again, the, uh... Once again, the, the RNG there was a missed death blow. So once that misses, I just go defend and hold time with Sid in order to basically wait trick. Once Cloud's ATB empties, defend and hold circle. Uh, except that time I actually did it incorrectly, where I did a death blow, so we got lucky that it worked. Um, it would be smarter... It would be smarter to to do uh, so right for the defend, and then do up and circle to switch to regular attack. That way you don't have to count on the death blow hitting, uh, and it doesn't waste time. Okay, so another way to do this fight, though, would be if you want to use E skill. But now, so, so that would just... Uh, if you want to use Magic Breath with Cloud or Sid, that takes both of these guys out. Cool. You know, pr that's pretty quick as well. Now, what I would do if you're doing magic breaths, though, if you're like me and you have counterattack equipped on Tifa here, let's say you go for uh, the magic breath. I wouldn't just queue it up right away. What I would do is wait and see if one of them attacks Tifa and if she counterattacks. Because if she does counterattack, then you would waste time magic breathing a single soldier. And what you would do instead, if she counterattacked and killed one of them, is then instead of putting the magic breath through, you would just triangle over and do a regular attack to finish the other one off, right? So there you go. That's, uh... That's just, like, the all of the different options as far as, um... As far as a regular battle with two guards goes here. And that's gonna come into play a couple times. All right, all right. So after the fight, uh, I mostly buffer up, but do a little bit of a left in there to get Cloud kind of around the lady. And then right when the door opens, your buffer up le or your buffer up will get you right out. And then that gets you into another scripted fight. And so this one's kind of the same thing. Tifa's got another chance for a death blow here, so I'm gonna put it in. She got it this time. So there you go. That added cut death blow. Very quick ending to a fight. All right, so the next part, uh, so that was a scripted battle, uh, which you can't run away from those two battles, by the way, um, which is important. So the next part uh, is one of those parts where I am going to give us zero danger and freeze it so I can talk about the movement before I talk about uh, the step route. So on this part, coming out of that fight, I just buffer down and right. And then you need to do a little bit of down to get into that door. And then you buffer down and left all the way out. And then you buffer just down. So each of these screens kind of has its own shape to it, you know. Uh, and then it's right into another elevator. So this is one of the most confusing parts as far as remembering all of the directions to buffer. Uh, but then you want to go just left. And now you're underwater. So you go just right, and on, uh, or, or, sorry, just up is what I meant. And then it's just up into this screen, and now I've done a little research. If you, uh, start holding R anywhere around this second shadow, and you have a huge window, just start holding R along with your up along this, uh, shadow. Gigantic window. Um, that, that is the best for fractions. So, start holding R. Until you're out. And then release R. And it's just up through the next win uh, through the next screen. So, that's the movement through this part. Up to, up to field ID 420. Um, there you go. Okay, so now let's talk about that part. If you happen to be on this particular step route. Um, what you, uh, what you can do here is... I, I use R1 for this whole part instead of, uh... Instead of running down right, because there's a forced encounter here. So it's R1 with with run uh, all the way until Cloud bonks. And then don't release run. Uh, release right first. You don't want to do that little cloud walk to the right. Um, but still holding R1 now, you walk up and down in front of the door here at this particular distance. You get a side attack here. And then that distance that you are to the door is the amount that you have to walk. So out of this fight, you just walk to the right with R held. And now you do the rest of the movement, like I said. Run down left. Run straight down. Add left around this corner into the doorway. And then it's to the right. To the elevator. 
straight ahead. Straight ahead again, adding R1 right there. Release R1 and run straight ahead into room 420. All right, so room 420, you just want to uh, buffer down left into, get a, get a, around to this button as quickly as possible. Then the uh, the bongs the bongs all bubble up, and I buffer uh, down right, so that once we get control again, we run back to the right, and then you buffer left into this room, and this room is just left through the whole room. And then the next fight we expect to be. Uh, on the red submarine here. Oh, okay. Alright, so the next room is interesting. Uh, I haven't talked about, like, saving very much lately. If you're a beginner, I would recommend saving a lot. So this screen has a save point right here. So after you run straight left, uh, to the, after you run straight left through that, through, over the catwalk, you've got a save point right here. You can save if you would like. Um, having to load this save because you died to carry armor loses you like six minutes though. So this save very quickly becomes one that is not worth it when you're going for good times. Uh, so, um, otherwise if you're, if you're not saving, you can just buffer up straight past it and then up right, uh, to get out the door. And then I wait for this guy to walk forward a little bit. If you run, if you run right away, you bonk behind him. And if you talk to him, you get into a fight with just him. But we want to fight with all three of them at once, which unfortunately is going to be a pincer, but it is faster to get in one battle instead of two. So uh, so it's an upright to slide. You know, after he walks to uh, enough to give you a gap, It's uh, it, you just buffer up and right to get uh, past him. You start the pincer battle. So this battle, I generally will do... A magic breath on the guys on the right, and a regular attack with Tifa on the guy on the left. Unless Tifa counterattacks somebody, at which point it's worth it to go for a death blow. So, I, uh, wait for everybody to get their ATB. Because remember, th this was a side attack, meaning all of the enemies, uh, all of the enemies had full ATB in the first place. And so you don't really lose anything by waiting for everybody to get their ATB full. And then I hold time with Cloud on Magic Breath on these guys. Indeed, there are still three dudes remaining. So put it through. Uh, go to Tifa. Regular attack on this guy. And that's the fight. But again, if Tifa countered and killed a guy, then I would have done a death blow with Tifa uh, to try to kill the remaining two guys. All right, all right. After this fight, Cloud is looking a little, a little low on health, so I'm gonna cure him. And now this fight is so this is a this is another scripted fight with two dudes, and once again this is a fight where a, a you know a death blow uh, added cut is the fastest. But these guys, their turns take forever. So on these guys specifically, I would say. Um, Magic Breath is more worth it than on the other guys. So if you can get a Magic Breath in before their turns, I would go for it. So on this one, Tifa's going to be first, because, but we know that they're going to get a turn first uh, because none of our characters had 7 8 AP, or uh, ATB. Oh, she countered! So that's right there is like exactly why I like counterattack, because it was very likely right there that they both had turns queued up, and she just interrupted his, those guys can shoot you like four times in a row for one for one turn and tifa just counterattacked one of them and interrupted his turn the, oh wait no they definitely both didn't have their turns queued up because then tifa's a, uh, death blow went off but still it interrupted that guy's turn halfway through so that's the kind of spot where i like counterattack but yeah magic breath is very good on that fight as well if you can get it off first because their turns take forever Anyway, get in this room. Um, make sure to take this corner as tight as possible. You don't want to go upright to then get around this corner tightly because there's a, there's a trigger like right here. So just go around this corner really tightly and stay on the left. All right, all right. After this cutscene, just run straight right. 
we get one text box here from Cloud. And then we just have this uh, this short uh, uh, this short cutscene. And then when the camera goes back to Cloud, hold triangle. Be holding triangle here because it is time to talk about carry armor. <laughs> 